What's going on, all you beautiful nature freaks? What's up? Woo! And we are here with a very excited Greg Schechter from Schechter's Natural History. The reason he's excited, we are going to be looking for his lifer, mud puppy salamanders. They're an aquatic salamander. They're found in these lakes. We'll be flipping these rocks. We're going to try to get Greg on a lifer. Yeah, luckily it's a beautiful sunny day because he flew in from California. So uh, I don't know why you did that. I know. It's like 50 <laughs> degrees to that. It's crazy. <laughs> this is like one of the best days. <laughs> All right, so hopefully we can get on these mud puppies, these water dogs, and have a fun episode. Nature in your face! Dave needs to go for the biggest rock here. Big rock, big payoff? Nope. No payoff. Hang on, I can't. There's Greg looking pretty good with those shades on. I don't know. <laughs> All right. We're out here in the water. Flipping. Turning over some stones. Trying to get on these puppies. So, so far, we have lost two. So, it's a good day. Sun is out. It's beautiful. It actually warmed up quite a bit. I think it's in the mid to upper 50s right now. But that's like perfect weather. Once it gets too warm and the water warms up, these mud puppies are going to go a lot deeper out there. And then we won't be able to get them without snorkeling or scuba diving, which not going to happen. All right, so let's keep on going. All right, we just got Greg, his lifer, yeah. Necturus, a mud puppy. So he's going to put it in this little, this is so cool. little bucket of water here. There we go. It's always cool when you get somebody a lifer. What do you think, Greg? This is amazing. Isn't this is cool? a nice sized one. Oh, they get much bigger, but sure. there's also a lot. I've seen a lot smaller, too. Oh, they get bigger, but I've seen smaller. Yeah, it's not, it's not uh, <clears throat> filling out the gills yet, but. Wow. All right, well, we lost the first two that we had seen. <laughs> And uh, I got that one with my bare hands. Almost lost this one on the shore too, but Jeremy's yeah, good eyes spotted it. So, all right. Yeah. Once those gills come out, when it relaxes a little bit, then it looks really cool. With the bushy red gills. He got up and he was like, <laughs> oh, hello. You know what this is called, Jeremy? What's that called? It's called the Illinois Lobster. Yeah. yeah. All right. Oh, bye -bye. Hot water with the... Yeah. Watch this. <laughs> Mud puppies are secretive and sporadically distributed throughout their range, which is limited mainly to the Midwest and Northeastern states. They're rarely seen, aside from maybe a fisherman catching one on occasion. So the fact that we were able to find so many was exciting, especially considering Greg had traveled such a long distance, and we weren't about to let him leave disappointed. It was definitely cool to see Greg's reaction after he caught his first mud puppy. These aquatic salamanders are neotenic, meaning they never leave their larval stage. Although they can breathe out of water, their red feathery gills allow them to take in oxygen in their aquatic environment. Adults are gray or brown in color with numerous spots on the body. Hatchlings and younger mud puppies are striped, eventually developing the characteristic modeling as they mature. Mud puppies have adorable facial features. The head is flat, the eyes are tiny, and the tail is compressed laterally adaptations that allow them to move quickly through the water. Despite this, mud puppies prefer to walk slowly along the bottom of the lakes and rivers that they inhabit. 
The tiny eyes are poorly developed and are only able to distinguish light from dark. Mud puppies are one of the only salamanders to vocalize and the noise they produce is said to sound similar to a dog's bark, which explains the word puppy in the name. Although their population remains stable, they are coming under increasing pressure from habitat loss. They are bioindicators and extremely sensitive to pollutants and siltation in the water. We came, we saw, we conquered, we got the puppies. Yeah, it's always terrible when you're collabing with somebody you don't find what you're looking for or hoping that they find, but we definitely had a successful day. We got, I mean, at least 10 finds, three that we caught, and a little bit of water. This is the downside of herping in the cold. We all have soggy feet, right? right. Yeah, totally. Soggy. That wasn't our Worth intent, it for the neck tourists. Can't help it. All right, guys, <laughs> what a great time. We'll see you guys on the next episode of Nature in Your Face. Booyah.